Hi, this is Vishal and again we are in new session of the day that is related to your Jetpack models with the view model. So as you know that uh, Jetpack series, um, uh, we are working on that and uh, as per data time, uh, we create uh, videos on this. So uh, previously we have worked with the simple modifiers, we worked with the text, we have worked with the, how we can use the simple view model in it, then uh, how we can uh, use our, I mean, uh, what is the process behind your interaction with the view to view model so these all uh, things uh, in my previous sessions we have done so now today we discuss about the data classes with their view model how they can integrate how we, uh, they can uh, useful for for the business processing processing data and lot of things with there and uh, uh, the basic purpose of these sessions we work with the coroutines we work with your uh, repositories with 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 your retrofits so as as per you watch my previous sessions related to the java and the kotlin we already worked these things uh, before and uh, but the jetpack related things be how we can make it an in you know, easy steps so how we can uh, compose we create a composable different composables custom composables so many things be there but one by one we can integrate it but the basic thing is here that we have to work with simple data classes and with the view models so it's very easy to work with the kotlin with the data classes and then uh, as we know that the view models doing any process with that update the data and then interact with the business logics again so whatever with the business logics be updated we can represent view model to view so that means it's happened by the bindings it happened by the many ways we have to work so as uh, you know that uh, when the MVMB started, before that we worked with the bindings with their data bindings with their lot of things with there. But here in the composable, everything we can create it at a runtime. So that means we are creating the view at a runtime. So that means uh, and and in a single activity we are worked with the multiple composables. So that is a good advantage. We hear only that we can work with a single activity with the multiple view models like a fragments, and we can easily uh, do the things we have means we can accomplish whatever we our uh, requirement be there and with the very, very less memory losses and very uh, reduced size of that APKs. So now if we are discussing the view models we just uh, check it uh, with the lazy columns we can give the examples with that how we can use these things we there. And then first the basic requirements be clear, then we go with the view to view models and then uh, coroutine part of that. So let's start it in the Android Studio. Yeah. Okay, so let us start in Android Studio. So here I removed whatever be the given code by the uh, default code. So here we have to create our own composables. So first uh, uh, we need to check that how we can use the simple lazy list here and then for that why we need that data model classes and then if data model classes required so how they interact with your view models so three steps we have to first uh, let's see how we can do that so first uh, we'll see that if we go for the private well and uh, i'm just creating my name list and name list is what for new table kind of list and here I am giving the name like a first, second, third, okay. Three values uh, that we need to use it in our composable. So now we have to create our composable and simply say that simple list. So this lazy list how it works, sorry lazy column how it works, you can say that lazy column, okay. And whatever be the lazy columns I will check, I am not using any um, uh, modifiers or like that, we will do it later but first we check that our motive is we have to do this kind of integrations, okay. So these are your items and under that items what we need it, we need our name list, okay. So once this name list be done, what we have to need, okay, is saying that for the items we need to compose that, yeah. So uh, here we have our names, arrow and 
what we needed we needed any text to represent these names okay so here i am using that names so just need to check this uh, here for this splitting we'll see this in a graph in a preview so for that preview what i need you just go it and then paste it and then we'll see for this splitting part so we'll see uh, what be the result for this for a simple this now we have to create the models for this and then view models for this build and refresh and we'll see okay so here if we go for the preview it's showing that first second third these three values be here so if you go for the simple lazy column it works be like this we have a simple lazy column we have to pass that whatever be the list and then i mean it depends whether it comes from the dbn and whatever we will see that one by one how we can use this with the coroutines also but here is a simple lazy columns uh, we just showing to you now if you go with the uh, model like uh, or we can say that i want a multiple data item list like your integer strings like for the employees related like for the songs related data so what we can go do that for we can just create a separate package here this is this package before the models and one more package i am creating for view models if you go with my previous videos for the java with mvvm java with uh, kotlin with the mvvm so you can see that we already done these parts before but in the jetpack how we can uh, make it easy for that okay repository so these three folders we require so first we go for this model so now for this model and i want to create a one kotlin class and it is a data kind of class and that data kind of class we here songs model okay so under that uh, what we needed i needed where id of that song and here it is the integer okay and the other thing is your name name of the song and this is your string and third is your description this is the string so it is a very simple data class that we need to use it and if you go for your main activity and here i want to create one private well and that is called your songs list okay and that is the song list is i am doing with the mutable list of and that is the list of our songs model so we need to import this here okay so that means our song list we write it that is the ready and that songs models we have to use it in our composer so how we can do that the second step so if you go with the steps by steps you can learn a lot of things okay so this is your composable and here it is we create the next songs list view so under that we have to call this list so how we can do that and how we can add this data be here let's see
okay so uh, for this uh, song list first we have to add this data so here i am just giving to add um, some values here and uh, which kind of data we need to add so i need a songs model and this model required the id name I'm just giving the song one at this time. We'll make it perfectly after that. And description. This is set or whatever. Okay. So um, just uh, copy it and make it two difference like a two, like a three. So this kind of data, as we know that it's uh, we can get it from the retrofit and. Uh, with the coroutine, with the help of the coroutine, we represent it. So many things with there. So, whatever be I'm just putting anything here. Okay, so we'll do it perfectly after that. Just giving the values be here. This is your simple song models. That is the requirement of this model. Okay. So here, once this be done, we can interact it with the lazy column and then this data we will show to our view models that means we want to update that data we here and then a lot of things be there, okay. So we'll see these all scenarios. Uh, so this is a sim simple songs list view and uh, again, what we are doing, we just go with the simple list here we are using the lazy columns so the same things i am applying here so here this is the lazy column and uh, make it the items and items should be like a songs list okay and for this songs list what it requires i'm making the songs arrow and that songs means this uh, I already described you these things be that we it is any whatever you give these names to that lambda okay so this is the songs and here I'm making with the text now I'm just going with the simple text for this and here what we want to show I'm sure I'm showing that the songs dot here name at this time I'm showing just story only the word values here. So we'll describe you, we can put it in the row, you can use the card view. So a lot of things be there. That is, I mean, we can uh, we can work with the view as well as the view models, this kind of stops, okay. Then at the last level, we can work with our repository and then come, I mean, coroutine functionalities with that. So if you see that, we can update this, but here it is not a view. So we need to update it with the view here okay so I'm just hide this part and then represent this part so we'll see what be the result for this song list okay okay so uh, you can see that here it's a song one song two song three so by this we can get it like this we can show it represent it with uh, the song start name like so if you go with the models you can use it like and if you go with a mutable simple list you can use it with like but here uh, we need to represent it with the multiple texts so for this what we need it we need the rows and in which we can represent those data be like your description and also if you want to go the image render values so i will show you how you can show that song images also so this uh, stuff we can do it uh, let's see first and uh, also we can interact this simple um, song list view with your view model so first we check that how we can create a view model rest things we will discuss one by one that is related to the ui part related to the represent part so first we go for the basic things that means related to the backend part like in means uh, view model and then model interactions first okay so the simple things you can understand here like this name we can go for the row and under the row we can make it your name description and if you want to go for the image i will describe you one by one but here first we go with your view model how we can go 
and how we can use this uh, song list view as a view model let's see so under that uh, view models we have to create one more class but for that we need to integrate one gradle uh, we can uh, add one library in it and then we can achieve that view models for that so jetpack view models we required for that okay so let's see okay so let's see how we can add that library we have so go for that uh, your project structure and that project structure you can add your dependency and here uh, you have to search that and write x dot life cycle we'll see how many libraries be there yeah so we can search one by one that is uh, what we the require yeah we need this uh, life cycle life data is real yeah this one okay so we'll see and i'm just using the version 2.8.6 you can use any one so this is android x simple life cycle live data so first we'll check with this that we go for the further libraries one by one how we can do it okay there are a lot of things be there compose android be there many things be there so first i'm going with that live data okay so just uh, we have to implement it and then apply okay so let's see once the gradle bit run then we'll see this how we can use that implement it. Okay, so once uh, Gradle will be done, and if you see that, uh, yeah, so here the life cycle live data be added, and uh, so here uh, the first step is you have to go for that view models and then create a new class that is the Kotlin class, and that's class name is your uh, songs view model. So, whatever be the view. Uh, or whatever with your business so we can make it accordingly that particular view models according to the based on models so here if i'm using that view model and then uh, we can import that class so the first step is your well uh, say as I told you that we have a many ways to use the jetpack compose view models okay previously we have we already used that uh, the other one here and then here I am using this uh, based on the life cycle so I will describe you one by one how we can implement all those steps okay so first here here I am using that uh, a list of songs list so so for this I need to implement that song list we here and that is the mutable list and here the same thing we need a songs view model so songs model we need it so that's it okay and now we have to create two functions we here add songs and get songs okay so here we have to add the songs we here and I'm uh, using the song and which kind of it is it is your songs model okay and uh, the other is your get songs and here we need it as the get songs viewer uh, better we can call it directly so this is your songs list okay so this we need to implement so here if you go with this model and i want to add something with this so what we can say that this is your songs list dot add so whatever we adding there uh, in kt file main activity we have to add here okay so here i need to add that song so that is very simple pretty simple we are using so this is two functions we are created simple in your so what we can do for this because of previously what we have done we have done this list view be here now 
and uh, this song list we are created here but now we are creating this list here and then we are adding using that view model okay and uh, uh, if you go with the scope of this so what we needed we needed to make it as an uh, we need an instance for this so private well and songs view model if i am using this we are using that by and then view model and that view model with which kind of view model we need it we needed a songs view model okay okay so uh, if using this so, uh, it is a s okay so for this view models uh, it's not a view model it is a view models and then we need it so we can see that it's imported uh, that's android x activity view models imported and then uh, we can use it with that composable okay so how we can implement with the composable we'll see so here for this i need to make it that composable and composable fun and that one I am using for uh, songs view model screen okay so this is the screen and we need to pass that songs view model here okay and on next steps if you see that uh, I need to add this um, data here because of we already created songs view model in which we already added that add songs and we have got songs okay so what we did it we just uh, add this songs view model dot add songs and here what we need to add that is songs model i need to add that songs model and here i am using the one name of that value that is called song one so i am making a uh, little different for this so i'm using a titanic like that and then you get the name and then this is a description so i'm using that description one okay likewise that so this is a simple way uh, and uh, if you want to add two or three so you can see that here it is id2 id3 so at this time i'm just uh, we will put different name after that but at this time i'm making with it one two three for that so when we create the view we will discuss or we can represent that view perfectly okay so now uh, if we use that i need to use that models be like that we need to get this view model because of we are adding and get the values similar at the same time sync with that okay so let's see for the next step what we need it we need to get data for this uh, this is your add data we'll do it later on the button click floating button click will describe you later just learn the basic things okay so if you want to need that i'm just saying that this is the songs and uh, that songs we let it to your songs view model dot get songs okay once you get songs then again you can implement be like uh, your song list okay this is your lazy columns so here this is a very good example so this is a lazy column and under that you have to work with your items and items what we need it we need to make it that mm, songs okay do one thing make it as songs list but list okay and here i just uh, want to make it songs arrow and then we need to make it as a text and this is your songs dot you can see it comes beneath okay the same thing we have done with the new model 
how you can use this view model you just simply call this view model b here under that and you have to pass our view model value so you have to pass that songs view model okay so that means once it's done it can call it here songs view model screen and under that we are adding and we get this that data okay then we will separate out these two functionality be like on the floating button under the scaffold and many things either but just basic thing is that whenever your model be ready you can call it like this and then you have to call this all functionality all calculations all processing you have to do under that view model so whatever be the data be coming from your um back end sites or from the repository you can call it here we'll describe you that's the things uh, the same similar things we are using with the kotlin and then simple uh, java but here but there the code is lengthy but here we have a short code and then we can do it in very easy way so this is a single simple that is songs view models and we can call it like this so we will check uh we will uh, run this on the device and one by one we can see the ui part also describe it uh, means how we can use the card view with this and how we can implement that uh simple list with there that means how we can uh, use the modifiers tax styles so this simple things okay so and also we rendering the image with this so let's see um how we can implement this screen and then we can call it with again on the next session we will will implement with the um your repositories okay and core team so let uh, so now in the next step let's see how we can check that on the device this things view model values okay so in a device uh, it connected and we can see that it's uh, titanic 1 2 3 3 be coming but uh, it's coming beyond left corner so we'll describe you the safe areas after that but at this time you can just learn that is a titanic 1 2 3 become be like this so these things uh, uh, we can say that very simple view it is but now how you can uh, create a uh, good views for that so we will learn also so one by one we can learn it okay so if you go with very previous list what we have done first we have very simple list that is called here with the names okay means whatever be the names we have presenting that then we have created the models and then that models we can directly use in the lazycon and then after that what we have done we have done the functionalities of that songs view model and then we can interact with that business logic with our view model and then we have done some calculations means we have done add or get data and if you want to uh, need some other calculations you can they uh, if you want to update it with names or likewise so you can use that okay and here we are using with the view model and then that is a simple screens we can use okay. but what about that if we go for the names uh, with the images and the descriptions to be like that so uh, first we learn with the our um, previews okay and then in the preview we first learn to understand that how we can uh, simply use those items be like so let's see okay so let's go back for the view i'm just hiding this part songs view model and then we just go in the previous one in which we have called the simple song list and which are using here without view model so first we go for that i'm mean for the representation for um, this ui view so uh, i'm just changing the name like that hold on the songs name and this is we can say that uh, under the category of love song and if you go with that uh, the other one is i want you so like this kind of i'm just using whatever be coming in this time so 
say that romantic and then the third one is i am choosing with that uh, uh stay forever like any whatever be your and this is your the third one is also we make it as a romantic okay so this is under the description i am putting these all categories we have put up okay so if you go with this songs uh, first we need to make the one modifier that is called as i told you in my pre uh, previous sessions how we can use the modifiers you can see that so if you want to make it a reusable sorry it's you can just say that private well okay and here i am using that modifier dot padding universal padding i am giving this 8 point dp and uh, if you want to go for that fill max width for these columns okay so this is a simple reusable mod, mod, uh, usable modifier so i'm just using this single list view under the lazy column i'm using that uh, uh, modifier and make it as a reusable <coughs> modifier okay just simple and here uh, okay make it little bit right, so this try so for this song list view uh, we will call it is uh, it is already here okay and if you want to see on the device this is also we can call it under here okay so uh, first we check on this on the grid preview but it comes and then we'll see on the device so many things we there we need to discuss on that okay so you can see that this is the new songs names we here and uh, but i want to make it with the row okay so these things uh, the row is required for that so what we can do we have to call this songs as in a row okay so for this what i am making i am making one more composable and that composable i am making for that fun row songs or you can say the songs row so here what we are passing we are passing that model so this is your songs model okay and inside it what we need we need a row we need a column because of we need it in a one on the same place so this is your column and then under that column what happen i just make it uh, yeah text so the first text be your songs model dot name simple and the other is songs model dot description that's it so once this ready that is the row songs be ready then what we can do you just go for mm, yeah so here i am using again that modifier so the modifier should be as in a uh, reusable modifier okay so that is universal modifier we have created 
and uh, one more thing we needed we needed that uh, taxes trial also so i'm just creating for that taxes trial because of we need a different font different font so that means taxes trials we are using uh, okay so under that taxes trial what we need it this is the font mm, yeah font weight it is your font weight dot bold okay and the next is font size it is your okay this is your font bold and this is your font size i am using uh, 16 point sp okay and then uh, for this just uh, we need a style also mm. and i'm using that text style again and that text style i'm just passing it in the font size and this is your 12 point dp sorry sp okay so this is this has done and here i need to call this row songs so for that row songs what we need it we need it this is your row songs and this is your songs list you have just simply pass dot data be here no sorry you have to pass songs okay you just need to pass that value whatever be created by this so this is the passing the model be here and if you check that what be the result set of this you can see that okay you can see that this is your songs description song description songs and description okay this is the first basic approach to make it a very simple row with the columns that's the simple i mean simple implementation for this if you mock it uh, more small than it comes to be like this yeah so by this uh, we can pass those values and we can just simply learn that how we can use this row socks here okay okay so uh, it become a long video we'll describe many things um, in my next video that means how we can implement with the card views and how we can render the images and how we can use the view models again on and in coming session how we use the coroutine retrofit so many things be there so we'll describe you one by one and uh, hope these things you can understand basic things of this uh, model and data binding with the new models the first step we have covered and the next step will describe you more about that ui side and as well as uh, your um, apis and, and, and other things db connections on that okay so many things be there we'll see on the coming sessions uh, thank you so much for the day